industry management program. We're going to focus on a profession that a lot of you don't really think about or care to think about. And we're going to sell you on a profession that three of us are in. And uh, a lot of the hospitality industry. You all know what the hospitality industry is? Okay, we're focused with hotels for the most part right now. Okay? One of the fastest growing sectors of the economy of our time is the hospitality industry. How many of you have stayed at hotels? How many of you have watched your hotel be your hotel room being cleaned by someone? What, what was your what, what was your Oh, you just say that. Okay. And and we are part of uh, the hotel experiences. By the way, I'm Rose Carrera. And um, and our speakers are let me see if I can pull them up. Okay. John Yamamoto is with the hotel. And Angelo Sabino. Okay. Um, some of you probably know my son. He used to be a principal. Daryl Oh. I'm his brother. I'm also a PTT instructor. I've done some, maybe some of you have studied some of my classes that I have in hospitality housekeeping. Anyway, the hospitality industry uh, has a lot to offer. Okay, although we're going to focus in, in um, hospitality housekeeping, uh, housekeeping, professional cleaning, housekeeping management uh, side of the house, uh, there is front desk, there is marketing, there is um, reservationist, there's the food service area. Uh, but our focus today is going to be in the housekeeping hospital, um, housekeeping uh, professional cleaning area. It has a lot of diverse opportunities. I've walked my way up to many different positions in the hospitality industry, and so has the others. But just to give you an idea, um, in the hospitality industry, it's not only hotels, okay? Cruise ships, tour and travel agencies, retail shops, food service. A lot of you have gone to hotels and you've gone to their restaurants. Uh, that's all part of the hospitality industry. We're going to talk about career development in professional cleaning management. Like teachers who manage students, we manage employees. <coughs> I look at ourselves as managers of the built environment. The built environment meaning our buildings, indoors. Okay? And in managing the built environment, we want it to be kept safe and clean and healthy. Okay? And, and as I mentioned, the three of us will be covering um, some information that we will offer to you as well. John and Angela maybe one day could hire you, or we hire you for positions, and we're going to explain that as well. These are people I travel to um, to the uh, uh, African countries as well. I've gone to uh, uh, different countries as well and work with uh, people in the field. Our profession, professional cleaning management, is a global profession. Not only in Hawaii, not only on the mainland, all over the world. It is a profession that I feel you will never be without a job. And it also, later in the show, I say, I know students are coming. Clara, I want a job that pays big bucks. That's a profession. If you know your business, it will pay you big bucks. I'll, I'll show you. When I left Aston Hotel and Resorts in 1992, I was corporate executive housekeeper, overseeing 30 properties. And when I left, I was at a salary of 70,000 plus, plus, plus. The plus was I had a car, I had travel uh, opportunities, and different things. So there are different benefits. Also in Hawaii, these are only a few of our professional housekeeping management in many different hotels. Shelly, who is doing a video for us, for our website, is in the hospitality side of the house with, with the products that we have to get for the hotel. Linens, towels, amenities, chemicals. And we have to be knowledgeable in those areas. I was just talking to, to your teacher there. We were talking about chemicals. And I said, a lot of people don't understand with chemicals, pH. Do you know what pH is? Any of you? Have you heard the term pH? How many of you go to the store buy shampoo for your, wash your hair? 
And if you read good, it might say, this is a pH balanced product. You know what it's telling you? It's safe for you to use on your dinner. It has to do with acid and alcohol. So that's the science part of it. That's our field is really what we cover. Did you know that cleaning is a science and an art? Okay. The cleaning management is a profession of many roles. You can have a professional cleaning management career. Either by owning your business. How many of you want to become president one day of a company? You can become president of your own company. You go open a cleaning business, know all about what you need to know. Then you make yourself a business card. And you put your name, John Doe, resident, Green Plus System. But you got to know what you're doing. And we have training in those areas as well. You can be a housekeeping supervisor. You can be an executive housekeeper, a director of housekeeping services, business owner, consultant, training specialist. Today, as a trainer, I can go and ask for $150 an hour to train people in the safety area. So, but you gotta know what you're doing, okay? This is a good time for you to learn about different professions. Okay? You can become a room division director in the hotels, general manager. We have executive housekeepers today who are general managers and presidents. Human resources director, vice president of operations, CEO, entrepreneur. So these are the kinds of uh, positions available. Professional cleaning management is not only in hotels, or uh, the hospitality area, <coughs> excuse me, healthcare, hospitals, director of environmental services, retirement assisted living facilities. Hawaii today has a lot of assisted living facilities, food service facilities, restaurants, educational facilities, schools. You have a head custodian, <coughs> but we need to teach him more, okay? Commercial businesses as well. You know your Macy's, or you know, your big department stores? They have a housekeeping department. Somebody has to keep the store clean, right? And the manager has to train the person. So housekeeping manager. Contract cleaning company. Mm -hmm. okay. So in the career in professional cleaning management, there are three key things that is important for us to know and be knowledgeable in. Skills are important. Management skills how to manage people, okay? Administrative skills. Some of you will, you know, I read cases and body language. You're not taking notes. You should take notes so that you can do your evaluation. See? I read facial expression and body language too. I've been trained that way with having to supervise or manage hundreds of employees. Administration is budgets, purchasing, how to, you know, buy products and everything, and know the products that we have to buy. Also, developing training programs. Technology. We need to know and keep up with trends in technology today. And trends in technology has to do with how we can clean things better, faster, with higher quality, and with excellence. Okay? So these are three key areas of a housekeeping, or what I call a cleaning operations triad. Administration, management, and technology. So if you go to a college, you know, and we do have certified people, people who go to colleges as well. Hotels don't necessarily require a college degree, but they do look for it as well. Hospital, uh, the, the hospitals do look for college degrees. Your universities and your colleges do look for college degrees also for people to manage those kinds of uh, operations and departments. Universities are huge operations. I've gone to the University of Arizona and I've toured the facilities. And it, there's the students area, there's the faculty area, you know, there's where, where the classroom areas. There's a lot that in the field that we're in, we have to be knowledgeable on. I'm not going to go into each one. I'm going to introduce both uh, John to you and uh, Angela. And they're going to let you know about their their facilities. Angela comes from an aqua property, the Illicom. How many of you know the Illicom? Okay. And John comes from the aqua property, like you keep on Park Hotel. John and Angela, tell them about you. They want to know about big bucks, okay? Don't, don't, don't afraid to give them a salary raise. Okay. Okay. All profession pays big bucks. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, five kids. No, go ahead. Tell them about what the housekeepers 
they do hire but they have their pay is as well. But uh, actually to, to earn a big bucks you have to to be uh, knowledgeable and all that kind to manage people and all but to start with you can um, start with a pay of like seventeen dollars an hour for a housekeeper. Right now we currently are uh, having eighteen dollars and twenty five cents a season for our housekeeper. Those are the ones that clean our guest rooms and some other areas in the hotel that they clean like inspectors and supervisors if they earn more than uh, 18 cents. And again, those emphasize the big bucks, but in order to get a big bucks, you have to sacrifice and start, and it's a hard work to get there, to get a big bucks, yeah? Nandula, let them know how, you've been, how long you've been in the job. Uh, I've been with the hospitality industry since, um, I came from the Philippines and as an immigrant in 1969. And my first day was working in a hotel. And I started a room attendant, cleaning rooms. And then later, uh, my executive housekeeper then encouraged me. And then I think we have the potential. I'll train you. And I said, I was so young then, and I was afraid to say yes. But then eventually, I said yes. And I started learning and substituting the care job at the time. Then I went to school. And then I become a executive housekeeper in, in a property. And then earn my certified executive housekeeper uh, designation in 1980. So that's where I, and going to school again is a lot of efforts and sacrifices. Leaving the family at home, coming um, from work to school directly and go, go home after school at night twice a week. It was really a sacrifice, but it's worth it. And it really gave me a lot who I am today. Do you want to say how hard your job is? Um, the job is really hard and easy. Actually, we cannot say hard, and it's not easy as well. There's a lot of demanding uh, efforts every day, and some of them are unexpected too. Like, you have to deal with negative uh, guest comments, mm -hmm. and all those have, it's a road for improvement of your operation. Uh, you have to make them happy, make sure that all the guests that come to your hotel going home with a happy faces and make them uh, uh, comfortable living on the property as well. Quality is important. The quality of the guest room cleaning is very important. Uh, uh, Angela mentioned earlier certification. Both Angela and I are certified in the field. Angela has been certified since back in the uh, late 70s, and, and um, I've been certified in the late 70s. So we spent about 40 years plus being certified in the field. We have to take courses every year to renew our certification every three years. The certification program is 330 hour program. We have to take psychology, physiology, microbiology, all those different courses that you know you probably Take, have to take as well. And our uh, business management and uh, how to uh, uh, supervise or manage people. But the certification program, we have to renew every, take these uh, continuing uh, courses, and every three years we renew our, our certification with 30 plus credits. So we never stop going to school to be in this field. Because if we want to earn the dollars, you know, the big bucks, we ought to be knowledgeable, like in any type of profession. We're just as smart as the doctors and the teachers. We know in our areas what is required. And Angela's been there, Angela and I have been in the, with the International Executive Hospitals Association for 30 plus years. And this is an association <coughs> that we have joined to keep up with the field. Uh, and we have a lot of friends. We go to conventions every year as well. We, we must attend conventions to know what's happening in the field to stay and keep the rest of the field. So give you, you know, some any you know, some information it'll be helpful to you that you know <coughs> if you look at this program, you're not sure where you want to be, this is a good profession to look at. It's a profession <coughs> you, you can become from this profession a uh, human resources person. I know some men who've been a general uh, housekeeper, our general managers today, our presidents today, you know, so they offer us a lot of <coughs> Anything else, Angela? Thank you. Well, I would encourage you to have a future and this career. Like uh, Rose said, it's not only housekeeping that you work in the tourism industry. There's a lot of departments that you can be. Front desk, um, research, sales and marketing, um, 
there's so many uh, hidden veterans departments. And if any of you are interested, you can pick up, you know, I just have a few. But the Hawaii Hospitality Magazine gives it, and this magazine happens to say, uh, Hawaii Housekeeping Hero. <coughs> and they recognize uh, every year we have the uh, Housekeeping Week, uh, uh, like the Secretary's Week, we have a Housekeeping Week. And then our, our association, the Executive Housekeeping, today, where, where we got certified from, uh, we have magazines that uh, go out and keep us abreast, even through the uh, internet. Our association, we have a website. Okay, you ever want to go to the website? You just type into Google Housekeeping and it'll get you to the, to the website. We have a website as well, rosegalera.com. Learn more about what, what you know, there is, and then you can go to that website as well. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. John, now people think housekeeping, isn't it? No. Then you. Okay. So John, I will explain to you and Okay, thanks, Rose. Now, I don't wear an apron or nothing like that, but, yeah, you know, there's a lot of guys in the house and ministry to the special event. Plus, you need your house utility people, guys that, you know, clean the public areas. I have my laundry department. They have to lift pretty heavy items. So, you can So, we need uh, males, females, it's the same. Now, my background from Angela is quite a bit different. So, I went to school in the mainland, uh, UC Berkeley. I worked in different hotels on the mainland a lot. So I worked at, in New York, Atlanta, <laughs> Chicago, and, and mostly San Francisco. So I worked at a lot of different uh, hotels in the mainland before I came to Hawaii. So the background's a little different, but in the end, Angela and I are in the same, uh, at the same level right now. We're both directors of housekeeping at various hotels in Hawaii, and we both happen to work not originally, but eventually for the same company, Aqua Hotels and Resorts. So, Angela mentioned about the online employees working, you know, making about, you know, seventeen, eighteen dollars starting. With the management, it, it, it's, it also depends on how big your property is, how much experience you have, you know, what your background is when you're negotiating your salary too. So, uh, basically, I would say, you know, like 40,000 would be a, a good average number. But it really depends on which hotel you're with. Some exceptional health housekeepers that work for big chains like Hilton or Hyatt, their numbers are in six digits. So they're in the $100,000 area. Um, and that's just because of their size and responsibility. Um, also, like with my company, maybe I don't make as much base as the next sex housekeeper, but then I have like bonuses that I get if I make certain criteria. So, housekeeping, it's not the most glamorous job. Now, I also have a lot of experience in front office and other areas. I've been catering manager, sales, front office, reservations. I was even a pool guy once for, for a while. So I've done most of the jobs in a hotel and that was my whole goal. I wanted to know about every department. So now I'm director of housekeeping and laundry, but you know, what makes my job easier is that I know all the other areas. So when there's areas that front desk or issues there, I know what, what's going on because I have understanding for them as well. So if you have questions about any department in the hotels, of course I would be happy to assist and I can help you with that. And if you would like to ever see our hotel and how it runs, I told Rose that I'd be happy to take you on a tour if you want to come down and visit us. We're in a, we're in a pretty neat location. We're right on the corner of Kapahula, Kalakau Avenue, right across from the zoo. You know, but uh, we have a nice location and we're, we uh, have hired part-time employees to help us uh, get from schools. I, actually, we have two people from KCC right now that are, uh, you know, like on the job training, which is kind of the best way to get an idea. Not only do you really want to do this, do I want to work in the hotels? Do I want to be in housekeeping? You know, it's, you, don't, you never know what you're going to do until you actually experience it. I would have never thought when I got out of Berkeley that I would be a housekeeping man so I could tell you that's true. I'm really supposed to be this top shot president of a marketing company, but it just never happened. But like I said, you don't know what you're going to have. When you're in school, high school, or college, you don't really know where you're going to end up. You just have to prepare, make the right choices, and get an idea at, at your age what you want to do and what seems comfortable to you, what's something that you're looking to see interesting. 
Housekeeping has a lot of different areas to offer. The hotels have a tremendous amount. So if you get in Hawaii, I think hotels are something everyone should consider as big as our travel, as our market is here. So we're here to kind of to give you an idea, and we're also here if you'd like, to, we'll show you more. And if we want to come down to the hotel, that's what we're here for. We'll give you a little tour. I'll let you meet some of my employees. They can give you some insight on how they got to where they are. And then let you decide if it's something you might want to consider for a career. How's that sound? Nice. Anyone okay. interested? If you're interested, let me know before you go. I'll give you a card and then you just call me and say, oh, can I come down? I mean, you can. And we'll give you the tour. Maybe we'll throw in lunch too. So it's not a bad thing. I do a lot of things for lunch. So something to think about. By the way, speaking of lunch, a lot of employees in hotels today, part of the benefit is lunch. Yes. That's true. Daily. You do get free. Daily. Part of the benefit, you work with the <laughs> evening shift, it's different. So that's one of the benefits in working in a hospitality industry where you have food services. Mm -hmm. I, I do have some booklets on professional hospitality cleaning. If any of you are interested, the management aspect, and it get, gives you some idea, that, you know, uh, feel free to pick up uh, one of the booklets. John was speaking about, you know, the growth and everything. I want to share one good information. Uh, some years ago, when I opened our Holly Cole Hotel, and then I went to work for Astro, um, I hired a high school graduate out of Pearl City High School. He came to me and said, he's going to run a for a job. I knew him because of my son, he was a classmate. So I hired him. I hired him as a houseman, a utility person, delivering things, cleaning common areas. Today, this was back in the 80s that I hired him. I got into the newspaper with me. Today, he is an executive housekeeper at a hotel in Waikiki. He worked his way up. And he's here periodically for sending uh, on an email and keep me in touch. Uh, keep his, uh, be in touch with me or I see him from time to time. This is like a son to me because I made him work his way up to become a manager today. He took courses, he took workshops, and all of that. And he wasn't afraid to, to go into that field. So this thing today, the potential is just still there. He's still, still fairly young. I think I'm going to go on John and see him with him. But there's a lot in the field that you, know, you can take a look at that uh, provides opportunity. And this is the reason we asked to come and do this is because a lot of people get turned off when they hear the word cleaning or housekeeping. We tell you, don't get turned off with those words. Those two words can take you to great heights. It's taking me to great heights. I started off from when I was 12 years old to 17 years old as a nanny, working for a, a military family, babysitting Monday to Friday after school, on Saturdays cleaning their house. Then after working for them for five years, I kept up with them. I went to work in, the, uh, in Schofield for the guest houses, and when the Holly Co-op opened and I applied, Mr. and Mrs. Bennett, because I worked with them, he was, he was the commander of a uh, uh, submarine ship, wrote a letter of recommendation for me as, my, as, as being a nanny and the experience I had working for them. And that's how I got hired at the Holly co Hotel as the first executive housekeeper. Opening that hotel with 135 employees managing them. We had 416 rooms that we started off with, teaching them how to make a uh, hotel room there. Today, I teach people how to make a hotel room uh, bed with three flat sheets. Not fitted sheets, three flat sheets, the proper way to it. Our association, we adopted that in, in 2011, the Washington Place. How many of you are familiar with the Washington Place? Any of you familiar with the Washington Place? Hawaii's Washington Place? Where the governor's home is? Oh. <coughs> okay. Well, come on, guys. You're supposed to be informed. Washington Place. Where the governor's home is today, and he saw probably was on the news, you know. He probably heard it. Okay. And the Queen's home. We adopted the Queen's home. We go on a quarterly basis. We donate our weekend, Saturday or Sunday, and we help to keep the, queen, the Queen's home. You know, up, 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 dusting, okay, vacuuming. 
cleaning the, the bathrooms, cleaning the kitchen. And it's a beautiful museum. You need to go to the take a look at it. I read in the paper that the, uh, the OE is going to be looking at um, maybe teaching some Hawaiian type uh, programs in school. Work 